Here is a review of partial products, something that will help you solve larger multiplication problems. When we think of partial products, we have to keep in mind place value. 47 times 6 really means 40 times 6 and 7 times 6 because 40 plus 7 is 47. So 40 times 6 and 7 times 6. When we solve those partial products, we get 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1, 0. And 7 times 6 is 42. When we add them together, we will get 282. The same thing is true even when we have larger numbers. We still have to think of 321 as 320 and 1. 300 times 4 is 1,200 because 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 zeros. Then 2 is really 20 times 4, which is 80. And 1 times 4 is 4. When we add up all of those, run out of space, we would get 1,284. Many of your parents have used this method in solving multiplication, which is different than partial products. So this is what I like to call the old school method. Old school, you would do 8 times six, 7 is 56. So you would write down the ones place. And it's almost like you're carrying the 5, but it's 7 times 4 is 28 plus 5. So you would do the times going diagonal, but then you have to add it. So 28 plus 5 is 33. If we looked at this in partial products, it would be 40 times 7 is 280. 8 times 7 is 56 and you would get the same answer. So depending on the method that you're most comfortable with, good luck on your multiplication. Made with DoodleCast Pro.